to the three composers who founded Musica Electronica Viva. Richard Teitelbaum, Alvin Curran, and Frederick Shevsky don't write electronic music exclusively, but their current music is at least as important as their electronic works of 20 years ago. Curran's Songs and Views from the Magnetic Garden is mostly electronic. Shevsky's Moonrise with Memories is completely acoustic. And Teitelbaum blends Japanese flute, ethnic percussion, and synthesizer in his work. I'm John Schaefer, and we'll hear from the three Musica Electronica Viva composers on the next edition of New Sounds from National Public Radio. That's coming up right here on WKSU 89.7 in about 20 minutes, so stay right where you are. This excerpt is from a piece called Era Ora by Alvin Curran. The Italian title means it's about time. And the two pianists here are Ursula Oppens and Frederick Shevsky, himself a composer. In fact, both Curran and Shevsky have been collaborators since the mid-60s when they formed an ensemble in Rome with fellow American composer Richard Teitelbaum. I'm John Schaefer, and on this edition of New Sounds, we'll be sampling some of the music of those three composers, Alvin Curran, Frederick Shevsky, and Richard Teitelbaum, collaborated together under the name of Musica Electronica Viva. They were one of the first ensembles to really take electronic music out of the studio and to attempt to perform it live. The ensemble was founded in the mid-60s, and the composers have all gone their separate ways, although they do occasionally seem to get together for projects like this. And on this edition of the program, we'll be listening to some solo works by the three of them. In fact, they're not all electronic. The Shevsky piece that we'll hear is completely acoustic. But there are varying degrees of uh, acoustic and electronic music being blended in the Teitelbaum and Curran pieces. Let's get right to it with some music from Richard Teitelbaum. The album is called Blends and the Digital Pianos. The piece Blends takes up all of one side. The digital piano music takes up the other. We're going to hear an excerpt from Blends, which not only blends acoustic and electronic instruments, it also blends east and west. The featured performer is Katsuya Yokoyama, a master shakuhachi player from Japan. Teitelbaum has studied the shakuhachi flute with Yokoyama. He accompanies on synthesizers, and a bit of additional support is given by percussionist Trilok Gortu, playing the Indian tabla and other drums towards the end of the piece. It is an interesting and a very colorful composition by Richard Teitelbaum, one of the three founding members of Musica Electronica Viva. And this again is entitled Blends.
That's music from Richard Teitelbaum. Blends is the name of it, an appropriate name because the piece blends both acoustic and electronic and east and west. Richard Teitelbaum, the composer and the synthesizer player. His teacher, Katsuya Yokoyama, a renowned shakuhachi flute player, performed on that instrument on this piece. And Trillik Gortu, who now tours as a member of the American Quartet Oregon, played the Indian tabla and other percussion. Blends, again, the name of this piece, from Richard Teitelbaum. It's a 1977 work, and has been recorded on the album Blends and the Digital Pianos. We'll hear a bit of the digital piano music later on in this program. On this edition of New Sounds, we're listening to some music from the three founding composers of the group Musica Electronica Viva, three American composers who were living and working in Rome in 1966 when they put together this ensemble, which became known for its live electronic and collective work. So we've heard from Richard Teitelbaum. The other two composers are Frederick Zhevsky and Alvin Curran. We'll listen to Curran's piece next. It's from a work called Canti e Vedute del Giardino Magnetico, which translates as Songs and Views from the Magnetic Garden. It's a piece that takes up an entire record. It's conveniently divided into two parts, obviously, one for each side. And we'll hear side two. Now, this is a rather ambient and a rather complex piece, but it is meant for live performance. And among the instruments that you'll hear are synthesizer, the African thumb piano, or kalimba, metal chimes, and some plastic tubes. There are also a number of natural sounds which are stored on tape. Those include high-tension wires and bees and frogs and people walking and such. So let's hear this second half of the piece, Songs and Views from the Magnetic Garden, from Alvin Curran.
music from Alvin Curran. The album is called Canti e Vedute del Giardino Magnetico, Songs and Views from the Magnetic Garden. It has an Italian title because it's one of the works that Alvin Curran produced while he was still living in Rome. It was in Rome in 1966 that Alvin Curran, Frederick Shevsky, and Richard Teitelbaum formed the group Musica Electronica Viva. Those are the three composers that we're hearing on this edition of New Sounds. And we've just heard part two of Songs and Views from the Magnetic Garden. The work dates from 1973 and has one part, obviously, for each side of the record. This part features the African thumb piano and the synthesizer, as well as a large variety of natural sounds recorded and stored on tape and then played back live into the mix while the piece is being performed. Alvin Curran and his songs and views from the Magnetic Garden on this edition of New Sounds. And before we move on, a reminder that support for the distribution of this program is provided by National Public Radio member stations and the NPR Arts and Performance Fund. Contributors include the National Endowment for the Arts, the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, and the Tandy Corporation. New Sounds is a production of WNYC, New York Public Radio, and is distributed by NPR, National Public Radio. And we'll move along now to some music from the third of the Musica Electronica Viva composers, namely Frederick Shevsky. Now, despite the pronunciation, Shevsky's last name is spelled R-Z-E-W-S-K-I, and he pronounces it Shevsky. The album that we'll hear from is actually a recording by David Taylor, a bass trombonist, and it's called, not surprisingly, David Taylor, Bass Trombone. And on it, he does a couple of contemporary works written specifically for him and his instrument. Frederick Shevsky's piece is called Moonrise with Memories, and it's a somewhat unusual and a very colorful work. It features the low instrument, the bass trombone, as the melody instrument, and all of the other instruments which play in a higher range do the accompaniment. Now, this is obviously an, an exact reversal of what you would expect. A bass trombone usually has an accompanying role, setting the bass line, so to speak, while other instruments will uh, have the melody above it. But in this case, we have a violin, clarinet, trumpet, electric piano, kazoo doubling on recorder, and marimba doubling on dulcimer, all in a supporting role. And by the way, towards the middle of the piece, you'll hear some vocals. That's violinist Louise Schulman. The piece includes a bit of a text by Langston Hughes, the short poem World War II. Chesky's music is often highly political, and texts about social concerns are often a part of his music, too. So World War II by Langston Hughes is the poem that you'll hear sung in the middle of this piece. Moonrise with Memories is the name of it, and although the piano is an electric piano, the textures here are completely acoustic. This again, music written for David Taylor, the bass trombonist, by Frederick Shevsky. Thank you. 
some peculiar sounds throughout that piece, actually, but especially towards the end. What you heard those last four notes was bass trombonist David Taylor playing and singing into his instrument to produce two or three tones at the same time. The piece was by Frederick Jevsky. Again, the spelling of the last name is R-Z-E-W-S-K-I, pronounced Jevsky. Moonrise with Memories, solo bass trombone with an accompanying ensemble, colorful work from Frederick Jevsky, Moonrise with Memories, from the album David Taylor, Bass Trombone. And on this edition of New Sounds, we've been listening to music from the three members of Musica Electronica Viva. They are Richard Teitelbaum, Frederick Jevsky, and Alvin Curran. They formed that ensemble and began their association in Rome back in the mid-60s. And as mentioned earlier, they have now gone their separate ways, but uh, all three have evolved into fine composers whose careers are worth watching. Shevsky especially has appeared on disc a number of times, Teitelbaum and Curran uh, a bit less so. If you'd like a copy of the playlist for this edition of New Sounds, just drop us a line. The playlist will tell you what we've been hearing and where this music can be found. The address is New Sounds, care of WNYC, 1 Center Street, New York, New York, 10007. Don't forget to mention the program number. We'll send you the right playlist that way. This is program number 41. And do mention the call letters of your local station. That helps as well. Again, that address, New Sounds, WNYC, 1 Center Street, New York, New York, 10007. I'm John Schaefer. It's been music from the three founding members of Musica Electronica Viva on this edition of the program. And right now we'll return to the album Blends and the Digital Pianos by Richard Teitelbaum. In fact, the piece you're hearing in the background is part of his digital piano music. It's called Interlude in Pelog, P-E-L-O-G. Pelog is one of the two main tuning systems used by Indonesian gamelan orchestras. But instead of using an ensemble of percussion instruments here, Richard Teitelbaum uses three computer-enhanced acoustic pianos, which allows one performer to activate all three pianos simultaneously. So that's what you'll hear in this excerpt. Interlude in Pelog part of the digital piano music of American composer Richard Teitelbaum.
Music there from the Greek composer Vangelis, one taken from his album Opera Sauvage, a piece called Rev. An album recorded in 1979, but enjoying renewed popularity due to the use of one of the pieces on a wine commercial on the television. That's Vangelis for you. At 10 minutes after the hour of 1 o'clock, you're in tune with the program called Night Air, heard over WKSU. John I. Marino, your host for this Monday morning edition, Night Air Heard, weekdays beginning at 10 p.m. The number here is 672-2132. We'll be here until 5.30 this morning. Up next on the program, we have a music, an album for cello and piano from Eugene Friesen, along with Paul Halley, an album recorded in the Cathedral of St. John the Divine in New York City called New Friend. Let's listen to Full Circle. <laughs> 